really stress that heat shield and get valuable data on reentry. And those calls that we are still on a nominal trajectory here and seeing nominal pressures means that we have a really good shot of hitting our target orbit. Yeah. Now, if the booster had survived, uh, we would be uh, around the time where it would be uh, getting ready to land, performing its uh, re-entry, but it unfortunately did not survive. Uh, that being said, that's okay. It survived several Correct. seconds after uh, hot staging, so we're going to take that data and improve the hot staging sequence and, and probably improve the hardware itself uh, for the next flight. are standing by for a call out here. Coming up on the projected time that ship would shut down its engines. As you can tell by the excitement from the crowd here at Mission Control Center in Hawthorne, uh, there's a great view of our Star Command Center. That's our control center at Starbase Texas. The crowd here, Mission Control Center, behind us in Hawthorne, everyone is super exciting. What a successful day this has been so far. And I mean, up to this point, major successful milestones through hot staging, which was the big objective today. So we are going to head into the coast phase uh, plan for the next about hour and five minutes. We'll be returning around the T plus one hour and 15 minute mark. And that's while we're waiting for Starship to continue on to its next step for reentry. We're not totally sure what video we're gonna get, um, and that video comes normally by overflying ground stations, but we don't have a ton along our flight path. So fingers crossed that we will get some via Starlink on this mission since we're testing that out. And also give us a moment, we are hearing some chatter on the net, so we're gonna try to parse that for you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Space Google Viser YouTube channel. John Esperger back here in Hawthorne at our webcast desk. We have lost the data from the second stage. We had heard a call out that we were internal guidance, which means we were getting near the end of the approximately six minute burn of Starship. But we haven't uh, gotten any more data since then. So we think we may have lost the second stage. So we would not be into coast phase. We wouldn't be able to come back in an hour or so uh, and possibly get ready for reentry. However, what we do know right now is we had an on-time launch at 7 o'clock. Uh, we got through the boats. First stage looked beautiful with 33 Raptor engines firing. We got the hot staging, you know, the thing that we really wanted to see and impressed. We saw the separation. We saw the flip maneuver. We saw the light up of the six Raptor engines on Starship and it headed away. Everything really looked good. 
But what we do believe right now is that the automated flight termination system on second stage appears to have triggered very late in the burn as we were headed downrange out over the Gulf of Mexico. But the real topping on the cake today, that successful liftoff, Kate, Shiva, the hot staging is just, yeah. just beautiful. Exactly what we were looking for. Yeah, ultimately, what honestly such an incredibly successful day, even though we did have um, a RUD or a rapid unscheduled disassembly of both the super heavy booster and the ship. That's great. We got so much data and that will all help us to improve for our next flight. Of course. And that's why we flight test and you can bet that there's going to be more to come. So we really do want to thank you all for joining us. Of course, we want to thank the people of Cameron County. We want to thank all the federal agencies that have supported us for our, our tests. And, and of course, a huge congratulations to the entire SpaceX team on getting through this flight test today. And I think with that, we're going to sign off from here in Hawthorne. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. T-minus 30 seconds.